So, I have some thoughts on uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's uh, 30th anniversary. Um, and I gotta say, they're not very positive. I wish this could be a more positive, upbeat video. And although I love this intellectual property, although I love this franchise, it is a big part of my life, I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed with a lot of the reactions to uh, yesterday's uh, Sonic Central, um, which, which of course, as, as you all know, if you're a, a, a Sonic fan at least, uh, was the announcement of all the new uh, Sonic, uh, you know, uh, happenings, you know, things going on, you know, the merchandise, you know, the Sonic content being put in all these other, uh, Sega games, you know, all of that stuff, you know, the Sonic Colors Ultimate Release, um, everything else, you know, the, uh, Sonic Origins collections that's, uh, coming to all these different consoles in, uh, 2022, um, and the the, uh, the teaser for the new game, which is also coming out in 2022, uh, that actually look that actually looks pretty interesting. Although I don't have a lot to say about it for this video, um, and and I want to be uh, clear about something. This is not meant to be an attack on the people who work at. Uh, Sega and, uh, Sonic Team, uh, you know, the, the, the people who created, uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, Naoto Oshima and Yuji Naka, you know, are wonderful, uh, people. Um, and, you know, the head of Sonic Team, you know, K Takashi, uh, Izuka, has done a lot of uh, positive things for the brand, right? He resuscitated uh, Sonic the Hedgehog while it wasn't in a great state in uh, 2010 with uh, Sonic Colors. And, and, you know, there's just, you know, other great people who work at, uh, you know, Sega who have really uh, added a lot of the joy and uh, happiness to the lives of... Uh, Sonic fans, like, uh, you know, Aaron Weber and, uh, you know, Katie, the, uh, social media, uh, manager for, uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. And, uh, I don't have any issue with them as individuals. I, I'm sure all of these people are wonderful people. That said, though... I think people's expectations for Sonic the Hedgehog have become uh, totally out of whack. So, you know, just for example, the reactions to that I saw for the uh, Sonic Central were, you know, overwhelmingly positive, right? You know, oh, uh, this was good, or this was fine, you know, there were some people who, you know, were, who were, uh, really happy with it, like, uh, you know, uh, Speed Supersonic, who's, you know, one of the Sonic, uh, YouTubers, um, and I will admit the, the Sonic Central was better, you know, just by a little bit than I thought it would be, but, I wasn't expecting very much. So, on the whole, it was still pretty disappointing, even though it was better than I thought it would be. And the fact of the matter is, I think there has been an institutional failure to handle uh, at least the game's portion of the Sonic franchise for the last 
four to seven to nine years, uh, depending upon how you count it, right? Everybody has their own, uh, you know, date for when they feel uh, Sonic the Hedgehog went off track, right? Some would say Sonic the Hedgehog has been in a bad state since Heroes. Others would say it's been in a bad state since uh, 06. Others would say it's been in a bad state, state since uh, Black Knight. And, you know, on and on and on and on, right? But suffice to say, you know, the games that have been coming out, at least the general consensus is, this isn't necessarily my opinion, haven't been really that good since Sonic Generations, right? And... We haven't had a mainline uh, Sonic game since uh, 2017, and I gotta say, that's pretty disappointing. And the justification that people are, uh, you know, throwing out, you know, people, and I want to say for the record, I respect these people, I like them a lot, you know, uh... Uh, Sam procrastinates, uh, some call me Johnny, he's not a Sonic tuber, you know, he's a general gaming YouTuber, uh, Speed Super Sonic, and, you know, the list goes on and on and on, is that, well, there's a pandemic going on, you know, the uh, coronavirus pandemic, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, and, you know, that's why they can't get a new game out until 2022. But if that's the case, then that means Sega is very poorly managed, right? Because we were supposed to get an announcement for this stuff, you know, at least most of this stuff, you know, Sonic Colors Ultimate probably, uh, and the new Sonic game, back in uh, South by Southwest in 2020, and that's more than a year ago. And if they had this stuff all ready to go back in, you know, 2020, why didn't we just get it like a month later if they had it, you know, all ready to go? And, you know, I know that, I, I know what people will say, and I think they're correct, that basically they need to, to, you know, release all this stuff now because it's a part of their marketing strategy to get, you know, everybody into Sonic stuff as soon as uh, Sonic Movie 2 comes out uh, on the 8th of April, 2022. And from a business perspective, th that is a good idea, but... That's not the argument that people are making as to why the new game has to uh, come out in 2022. Aside from one YouTuber, Bad Nick Mechanic, who made a really good video on this. But suffice to say, the, the reason why they don't have a new game out isn't because they're not capable of developing it right? I mean, if there's any industry that should be easily able to adapt to a pandemic, it is at least maybe not the release and marketing of video games, but just the production of video games, right? Because, you know, making a video game, I'm not an expert, I'm just, you know, using some common sense here, you know, making my best guesses, which could be incorrect, Making a video game is mostly just uh, level design and uh, programming, which presumably uh, can mostly be done from home. I mean, literally one person produced... Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting the name right here. In fact, I'm virtually certain. One person produced the game Stardew Valley, right? Stardew Valley was that, uh, I think... Uh, it, it was a farming simulator game. Right? One person produced it. Granted, it took a lot longer than four years, but one person with far less resources than Sega was able to produce a video game. Now, granted, that's a 2D game, it's not a 3D game, so it's not entirely analogous, 
But just take a look at Sonic Omens, right? I haven't played it, but from what I've seen of it, it looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty good. And the, the fact that, you know, just a couple of people can produce this great video game while Sega, you know, isn't releasing anything new for three and a half, four years just strikes me as ridiculous, right? You know, I don't think it's unreasonable to say that, that you know, given the fact that, you know, other, uh, you know, uh, game companies have been able to adapt to this uh, pandemic, you know, relatively easily, at least compared to other uh, industries, that Sega can't too. And yes, I know it's a business decision more than a we-can't-do-it decision, but suffice to say, it never had to come to this place in the first, in the first place, right? If they just said, we're going to release a mainline Sonic game, you know, every two years, which seems pretty reasonable to me, you know, we could have avoided this uh, 2020 uh, catastrophe where they had to put off the announcement for a year because of the pandemic if they just released something in 2019. And... The, the fact that people's expectations are so low tells me that there has been an organizational failure handling this intellectual property. And I think uh, the YouTuber, a person who I really respect, uh, Premi Doremi, has done a great job uh, covering this. Certainly better than I have in this video. And suffice to say, I, I think we as Sonic fans, I think we deserve better uh, than we've gotten over the past four years. And that's not to say all the stuff is bad, right? You know, Team Sonic Racing was... Uh, mildly enjoyable from what I played of it for the most part, and right, that came out uh, in, uh, I think, 2019? Yeah, it came out in 2019. Suffice to say, the fact that it took us a year to get this announcement, the fact that, you know, it's taken, you know, this long to, you know, release a mainline game, the fact that, you know, the Sonic Origins collection isn't going to be released until 2022, even though they're just porting stuff to other consoles, is... it's disappointing. And uh, suffice to say, it shouldn't have to be that way. And the worst part of all of this is, is that throughout this year, from uh, March of 2020 to, uh, you know, May 2020, we didn't get any updates on how things were going from Sega, is, in my opinion, absolutely not acceptable. We deserve better, in my opinion, and I think this needs to be said more than it's being said. So, I'm going to cut the video off here. Uh, I expect the uh, 2022 game is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, I don't have a lot of evidence to back that up. It's more of a, an educated guess. But suffice to say, we deserve better and that uh, they, they just didn't handle the situation well. And they need to do better. And I hope they do so in the future. Uh, that's all I have to say, you wonderful listeners out there, uh, you have a great night. Goodbye.